But the flake size distribution in this area is known to be very good and skewed toward larger flakes rather than smaller flakes. Talking graphite here today with James and ePower Resources, looking at China and passenger new energy vehicle penetration rates in retail market. James, I think the macro trend is in our favor. It's looking pretty strong, especially in China. And I think U.S. electric vehicle sales were up something like 40% in 2023 over the previous year. So um, it appears to be going on that way. So the big news here is that China is going to achieve greater 50% on new energy vehicle sales in 2025, 10 to 12 years ahead of schedule, depending on who you ask. And James, are we going to see an impact on graphite prices, graphite offtake prices anytime soon, given this kind of dramatic development? Yeah, I, th I think we'll have to. According to you know research we look at, like especially that of Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, it looks as though 2023 was the year that graphite supply was outstripped by graphite demand. And, you know, the growing EV sales can only make that worse. While we've got all this manufacturing capacity being erected, you know, all over North America and Europe, they're going to need graphite to fuel those factories they're building. You know, if you've spent $7 billion building a factory, what's another $150 million for a graphite deposit? That's how we're looking at it. And James, quick follow-up question for you. We, of course, see this clear trend with electric vehicles. There's more and more electric vehicles being sold, uh, hybrid vehicles being sold worldwide. Roughly, how much of a battery is actually graphite because of course we know that's a large chunk but how large is it actually James? Yeah well it just to give you an example a typical four passenger vehicle would have somewhere between 75 and 100 kilos of graphite in it. Graphite is the single largest material component of a battery. The anode side of a battery is 95% graphite so you're really talking about almost half the battery is graphite. Yeah almost half the battery is graphite 75 kilograms to 100 kilograms per vehicle required in graphite consumption and perhaps you can quickly share what graphite is currently trading for if you're talking about battery and material ready to go into those electric vehicles yeah it's hard to put an exact price on it because there are so many different prices of graphite due to the flake size differences so you know amorphous graphite sells for a very low price at finest grain graphite that is still flake graphite the last price i've seen is something like between five and six hundred dollars per ton but you could call finest grain flake graphite the worst of the best so as you graduate to bigger flake sizes then uh, you're talking about much more money per ton it's hard to put a number on what you know the graphite at Tetapisca would have but the flake size distribution in this area is known to be very good and skewed toward larger flakes rather than smaller flakes yeah, and James it would be super interesting to talk to Vault Carbon who are your new partner now midstream company very familiar in this space and to talk graphite flake size with them so looking forward to that yes that would be great looking forward to it